observe the social distancing.
correspondent Nick Eardley. It is important to say they both say they have mild symptoms at the moment and both are still working. The Prime Minister, for example, still chaired the morning meeting of those involved in the response this morning at nine o'clock by video conference. We know that he says he's going to keep doing that. He's still very much <coughs> himself as able to work and very much still in charge of the government's efforts. Dr Andrew Morrison worked as a locum GP before becoming a Conservative MP. He says how the virus affects people varies a great deal. I'm very sorry that Boris Johnson and members of his top team have succumbed to this, but I think all credit to them for continuing to work, albeit uh, in isolation. And it shows that this disease can range from the very severe indeed uh, down to people not having symptoms at all and, and lots of things in between. So it's an extraordinary virus and we're learning about it all the time. The number of people who've died in the UK after testing positive for the coronavirus has risen to 759. That's an increase of 181 on the figures released yesterday. Here's our health correspondent, Anna Collinson. In the PM's press briefing yesterday afternoon from the Deputy Chief Medical Officer, she had said that the figures that they had received, looking at the trend, there had been a slight glimmer of hope that the UK's trajectory compared to other countries was a They were hoping that um, things were looking more positive. the rules to try to slow down the spread of the virus. New laws came into force yesterday. Officers are also trying to discourage people from going out in their cars to picturesque locations to exercise, even if no one else is there. In the past hour, Buckingham Palace has announced that the Trooping of the Colour will not go ahead in its traditional form because of the pandemic and the restrictions on public gatherings. The parade to mark the Queen's official birthday was scheduled to take place on June 13th. Palace spokesperson said a number of other options were being considered. Sports Direct boss Mike Ashley says he's deeply apologetic for a series of blunders on what he is changing his reality virus lockdown. The retailer lobbied the government to keep his shops open, arguing they're an essential service, but back down after a backlash from staff and media. He's now offered to lend the NHS. At the end of the road, ABC yeah. News, it's three minutes past three. Thanks, Nick.
afternoon lockdown Britain. This is Steve right in the afternoon. And these are the non-stop oldies. Kick it off with our hard take.